guys, so uh, I just wanted to put Android Slider here up against the uh, Z5 Premium, checking out how it compares. This is the uh, BlackBerry Priv, and uh, it's a very beautiful device, uh, like the uh, Z5 Premium. Both uh, very uh, expensive, definitely going to set you back a little bit. Uh, but which one gives you the uh, most performance? We can have a look, we can check out the uh, speed and cameras of both of them. So we're just going to start them both at the same time here and uh, see how they compare. I did get an update for the Priv today as well, only a small one so hopefully that might have improved the performance. Uh, it was a system update. Uh, as we know the uh, Sony uh, Z5 family has been updated as well, got rid of some initial lags uh, and I have been using the new camera app as well on both of them uh, which uh, BlackBerry updated its camera app Wow so very close but the uh, BlackBerry did actually just pit the Z5 Premium which uh, is very nice uh, I think we're getting Snapdragon 808 obviously versus Snapdragon 810 uh, and uh, uh, 3 gigs of RAM in both of them so we can have a look at the uh, performance here you can see uh, we can close everything down and uh, just uh, start some things up here the day to day kind of apps so we can see the performance So, so far the uh, Z5 Premium seems to be jumping ahead. Wow, they've updated that. Looks like an iPhone now, app. Uh, you can see the Z5 Premium seems to be ahead on pretty much all of them. Which is nice being a Sony fan. I think the camera a little bit quicker here though. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, let's see. I think we have uh, Subway. Whoa! Z5 Premium, you had a hiccup there, what's going on there, oh dear, fail, my beloved Premium, what are you doing, so you can see the Priv very nice here when it comes to stability, you know, no issues, Oh, we're here now, 10 years later. So we'll give that to the uh, Priv. Very nice. It's only a basic game as well. Well, a little bit faster here. Ugh, I hate that game. It's so addictive. Uh, but generally, you know, you can see the game's performance was quite mixed there, but the app's day-to-day, -day, I think, was going to the premium, no doubt about it. Uh, so we can have a look at the web browsing here, nice and quick. So just uh, try Tech Radar. Go. So I think the uh, premium was a little bit quicker to load the page, both of them took some time when it came to the actual pictures, uh, GSM, I do love big phones when it comes to the web browsing, it's so easy, I mean look at that, both of them very quick. is nice.
TechCrunch. Go. Again, Z5 Premium. Got a little bit faster to load the content here. I can see it. But can you? So I'm giving this to the premium, not because I'm biased, you know, I am rooting for the priv, uh, but I'm certainly seeing slightly faster when it comes to the web browsing and the app opening here. Uh, we can have a look at the multitasking as well. Shouldn't uh, anticipate any issues with these two. Look at that. Beautiful like a hot knife through butter absolutely no issues on both of them maybe it comes up a little bit faster on the uh, premium but you know nitpicking really I'm just glad that there's no reloading so you can see I'm gonna give this a draw so far I mean, I can't see a worthwhile difference, which is nice. Uh, Subway Surf. Maybe a little bit faster. Maybe a little bit faster on the right there to go back into it. And Candy Crush. No difference. Uh, so I'm going to just give it a draw for the multitasking, you know, not a huge difference really. Which goes to show you that even an, you know, a newcomer to Android can optimise Android better than Samsung, which is really embarrassing for Samsung. Uh, but, you know, very good for BlackBerry. And uh, since BlackBerry is going for Android this year, you know, there's going to be some very nice handsets, I think, coming from uh, the, uh, the company. So, uh, nevertheless, we can have a look at the camera performance. I did do a quick little comparison here. So uh, I did do uh, low light shot and some daylight shots as well. Very impressive stuff on the uh, both of these phones. Obviously, you get your uh, nice uh, optics, 23 megapixel on the Z5 Premium versus the uh, Schneider uh, optics on the uh, Priv, which uh, hasn't let me down so far. It's been an absolutely fantastic uh, phone when it comes to the camera. Uh, I'd say that uh, it competes quite well compared to past generations of BlackBerry handsets. Uh, generally, I didn't see too much of a difference here when it came to against the Z5 Premium. You know, both of them very good. Uh, but I think the area which I'm most impressed with with the BlackBerry is the HDR. It turns a really horrible looking picture into something magnificent. I don't know how it does it really. I think the HDR is much more effective than the Z5 Premium uh, and pretty much any phone I've compared it to. So uh, I think you're going to enjoy that if you do get the uh, BlackBerry Priv. Uh, for the video recording, obviously we do have the 4K as well as the digital stabilization. We did do a quick little comparison that you can have a look at here. Hey guys, so we're just doing a quick little test here of the uh, BlackBerry Priv and a nice sunny day uh, checking out the video recording capability and is that a chair in the river? how bizarre very peculiar can't really zoom in too much on the priv to have a look at it but the actual uh, video seems to be quite nice here so I'm not complaining so we're just doing the same test here on the Z5 Premium, all the good stuff on, stabilization, steady shot, etc. And maybe we can get a good zoom in to see exactly what that is. It's like a chair in the river. Wow. Uh, but you can see, uh, I think, very nice on the uh, Z5 Premium as well. Probably among the best here for the uh, video. 
So uh, I think generally, you know, you can see here the uh, video recording absolutely magnificent on the uh, Priv. Uh, is it as good as the Z5 Premium? Probably not in terms of the zoom and the stability, which is class leading. Uh, but I did notice that the uh, Priv seemed to be a little bit better when it came to the low light uh, performance as well, which, you know, is another bow to its arrow here. So, you know, very nice stuff when it comes to the camera on the Priv and I think generally uh, you know the form factor is very adventurous really when it comes to you know the uh, keyboard uh, maybe Sony does need to you know try something new in 2016 and bring something new to the table you know LG is bringing its dual screen uh, the, the privilege seems to be a bit more exciting really and also you do have the uh, nice uh, AMOLED display which you can see holds its colours very well against the 4K display on the Premium uh, which is fantastic for viewing content like 4K but day to day I think the uh, look, luxurious colours here uh, are nice on the eyes uh, front facing speaker as well which is very nice I think on uh, both of them uh, so uh, yeah uh, just a quick little comparison here between these two uh, we'll be doing some other comparisons so do stay tuned for that Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.